Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Shaniqua Vereen. It's been another busy week in orbit as astronauts aboard the International Space Station welcomed another cargo dragon loaded with some exciting new science and a power upgrade. Engine full power and liftoff of TRS-28. Go Falcon, go Dragon. On Monday, June 5th, an uncrewed SpaceX Dragon launched on the company's Falcon 9 rocket from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, carrying more than 7,000 pounds of research, hardware, and supplies to the International Space Station. Also among the science, hardware, and fresh food brought up to the space station on Dragon were a pair of new solar arrays. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna plan to be on Friday, June 9th, NASA astronauts Stephen Bowen and Woody Holberg exited the station's Quest airlock to install an upgraded IROSA on the 1A power channel on the starboard truss of the station. On Thursday, June 15th, the same pair of astronauts will install another IROSA on the 1B power channel on the starboard truss. The spacewalks will see the fifth and sixth IROSAs mounted to the existing solar arrays and will augment the power capability on the station to accommodate increased commercial and scientific research on the complex. Back inside the station, we look to answer the question, do you age differently in space? We'll go back to high school for the answer. An experiment designed by high school student Pristine Owenwaha, the winner of the 2022 Genes in Space Student Research Competition, is now aboard the Orbiton Laboratory. This investigation was inspired by NASA's twin study of sibling astronauts Scott and Mark Kelly. One twin went to space while the other stayed on Earth, and so that study documented the changes between them. And one really grabbed my eye, and so that one dealt with um, the genetics of the twin in space, specifically his telomeres, which are the genetic sequences that cap the ends of our chromosomes. On Earth, telomeres shorten as we age, but for that twin in space, they appear to lengthen. That's something that's broader for astronauts as a whole. And so that kind of raised the question of whether astronauts age differently in space. But even more interesting was that we didn't know the cause of that process. And so with this gap in knowledge presented, I was keen to develop an experiment that might help us get closer to answering that question. This investigation and several others are now on the space station, so head on over to ISS underscore research on Twitter to learn more. That's Space Ground for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.